Chromies of the world unite. Ciao. What up, you guys? All right, so in this video, we're just gonna be kicking it again. I'm gonna be going over uh, how I get my seed sprouted teas ready. Today in particular, Gromies, we have some alfalfa teas, alfalfa seed sprouted tea on the menu. And uh, yeah, I turned off the pump so that we don't waste our time. Thank you guys for joining us on the last video when we were hitting our girls with some seed sprouted tea. Just want to show you guys how I like to do my alfalfa, my alfalfa teas and my barley teas. We don't have any barley going right now. We don't have any corn going right now because we ran out. But we're hitting them with some more alfalfa. And then, as soon as we get some more mung beans, I'm going to be giving our girls some mung beans too. So, this video is just going to be more just for entertainment purposes. You guys have probably already, already learned everything that I'm going to be doing today in, a, in one of my old videos because I definitely have done this before but it seems to be the kind of content that you guys like so here we are all right so I say that's about good it's about a good amount of seed sprouts go ahead and get those in there I like to let that blend for about I don't know 30 seconds or so just until everything seems like it's super blended up. And then in here, just got a five gallon bucket, empty. We're gonna put our seed sprouts in here. This will be our tea bag that we put into our barrel. That's about good. So you can see once these come out, You get like that foamy head. You get like that foamy head. And uh, that's how you know that they're active. Active in, active enzymes. It does not get any more fresh than this, you guys. I know it seems super simple, and it is. But seed sprouted cheese, you guys, that's where, they're where it's at. That's where, I, that's where I see some of the best results in my garden is from using these seed sprouted teas. 100%. Shake, 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 Girona. Shake it all about. All right, so we'll rinse this out in a second. Let's put it right there for right now. Get this second one here. Oh, yeah. And for any of you guys that didn't already know, the cool thing about these sprouts is as long as you're getting ones that are organic, these are completely safe to eat. So not only can you feed your plants with it, you can also feed yourself with it. And I just think sticking with the whole ethos of being organic and back to nature, it just doesn't get more cleaner than that. I mean, how sick is it that the same food we feed our cannabis plants, we can also feed ourselves? I mean, that just makes you feel good about how you're growing your medicine. And it should. So for all my patients out there listening, just know you're getting the most organic, nutritious, down-to-earth meds that I possibly know how to cultivate. Oh yeah. So. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of these sprouts. If you guys have ever like blended up, made some fresh like alfalfa sprouts, oh, put them in your salad. So dank, you guys, so dank. All 
right. Get these sprouty sprouts in there. Yep, but this is what I usually end up doing, you guys, on every Sunday. My sprouts are ready. And usually in flower, like we're in now, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sprouting corn and mung beans. I happen to be out of corn at the moment, and I'm waiting for some more mung beans to arrive. So this will be the last mixture of uh, alfalfa seeds for the season, and we'll call it good on the alfalfa seeds after this. Then we'll just stick to the corn and the mung beans for the phosphorus and the and the potassium. Those mung beans come in clutch. Good to go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to think of this place where I used to get these sandwiches at. They were so good. Oh, Eric's Deli. If you guys have never been to an Eric's Deli and you have them in your area, for sure check them out. Oh my God, some of their fresh sandwiches with the fresh alfalfa sprouts on them. Don't even get me started. So, so good. Some of the best sandwiches I've ever had from a sandwich shop, Eric's Deli. I don't know if you guys have those outside of California. Not too sure. All right, okay, what do we get some water going on up in here? Perfect. Get some little sprouty sprouts. Sprouty sprouts, oh yeah. Come on, sprouts. Come on, alfalfa sprouts. Grow some big ash trees for us. So you guys, if you don't already know the benefits of seed sprouted teas, I implore you to do your, uh, do your due diligence and research. Research these things for yourself and you'll find out exactly why your boy Callie puts 100% faith in them. It's because they work. The proof, the proof is in the is in the plants. The plants speak for themselves. Got the best results I've ever had in my garden with using seed sprouted teas, on top of an organic regimen. Hell yeah. This is how we do it in Cali's garden. Oh yeah, we're blending seeds, sprouted teas because it's the bee's knees. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, all right. That should be good right about there. Oh, yes. Mm. It's getting thick. The mixture is getting thick, Grammys. Just almost coming to the end here. Just this last little mixture. And we will be good to go. 
have all these girls blended up looking super proper super juicy get a little bit of this extra extra tease in there boom perfecto call it a wrap on there seed sprouted tease down glass final blend see where we're at on the old video looking good gromies looking good all right kick ass so now that we got all of our teas blended up we've got all of our alfalfa in there next thing we're gonna do is gonna take this five gallon bucket that has our big old bag of seed sprouts we're gonna take this we're gonna dump it into our water barrel we're gonna put, turn our bubbler on hang that bag in there let it steep with the with it aerated with some oxygen for about two hours gromies then we're gonna water these plants we're gonna watch them take off like some jack and the motherfucking beanstalks this is how we do it oh yeah thanks gromies it's been awesome showing you guys what i like to do in the garden i'll see you guys on the tripod peace 